Hi, in this clinical impact, we are going to have a brief approach towards hypothyroidism and its clinical presentation. In India, hypothyroidism has its 11% prevalence with female preponderance. With its variety of clinical presentation, it, it is imperative for us to be vigilant and thorough in the clinical examination and approach towards hypothyroidism for early diagnosis and treatment. Here we are seeing a patient who presented as a 33 year old male presented to us with the complaints of easy particularity and sleepiness, increased sleepiness. The on general physical examination, we can see here we found there is a parse thin alopecia in the head. Coming to the uh, eyes, there is a periorbital edema present on the both the sides and there is a mild anemia, matlab, there is a pallor and uh, coming to the here, we have a, a lateral medarosis, matlab, loss of the lateral half of the eyebrows called uh, a Queen Annie sign and then uh, we have a thick lips, purplish color and then open the mouth. There is a uh, abnormally enlarged tongue compared to the rest of the face. And when we observe his voice, now uh, uh, Go This is a thick, coarse uh, um, voice, which is uh, typically seen in hypothyroidism. And coming to the skin, you can see there is a dry, thin, coarse skin, which is very cool in touch. And coming to the lower limb, you can very significantly see the dry, coarse, and calm, cool skin here. Uh, the classical symptoms or signs like uh, periorbital edema, pretibial edema or uh, hypertrophy of the tongue are uh, mainly because of the demo, uh, deposition of the mucopolysaccharides like uh, hyaluronic acid and chondritin sulfate in the soft tissues. Uh, on neurological examination, uh, we demonstrate here the angle reflex. We can clearly see here the delayed relaxation of the angle reflex. This is called Oldman reflex or the hunger reflex. Delayed relaxation of the deep tendon reflexes, uh, so called as Oldman reflex or hunger reflex. Uh, the underlying pathophysiology here is postulated as, uh, as we all know that hypothyroidism generally presents with the uh, decreased basal metabolic rate overall. So as such, uh, actin and myosin complex activation will be decreased. In the same way, there is a decreased reaccumulation of the calcium in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Also, there is a theory presented which says that there is a, a defective myelination of the motor neurons that leading to the delayed relaxation of the deep tendon reflexes. Hoffman syndrome is a rare neurological manifestation seen in hypothyroidism that is characterized by proximal muscle weakness and pseudohypertrophy. This is because there is a low thyroid hormone levels that cause generalized weakness and fatigue in the muscles. Now we are demonstrating the Hoffman syndrome clinically. Now our patient is sitting in a squatting position and I will ask him to get up now. Now you can notice the patient is getting up with great difficulty because of the proximal muscle weakness. Other neurological manifestations that are seen in hypothyroidism are like entrap and neuropathy like carpal tunnel syndrome and at times there can be impaired mental status or memory and concentration.